Picture this, a warm summer evening, the scent of popcorn wafting through the air, and the soft glow of the movie screen flickering to life. You find yourself in the cozy embrace of a vintage theater, the anticipation building as you settle into your seat. The year is 1974, and a cinematic masterpiece is about to unfold before your eyes. The title, The Sugarland Express. As the opening credits roll and the story unfolds, you are transported to a world where desperation, love, and the open road collide. It's a tale that tugs at your heartstrings and keeps you on the edge of your seat. Perhaps you remember the heartwarming performances, the thrilling chase scenes, or the bittersweet moments that left a lasting impression on your soul. But wait, before we dive into the fascinating facts about this iconic film, let's take a moment to reminisce about your first encounter with the Sugarland Express. What was it about this cinematic gem that made it unforgettable for you? Was it the brilliant direction of a young Steven Spielberg? the charismatic presence of Goldie Hawn, or the poignant narrative that resonated with your own journey through life. Now, let's journey together through the hidden gems and captivating stories behind the making of the Sugarland Express. From the behind-the-scenes anecdotes to the film's impact on the industry, there's so much to discover. So, fasten your seatbelts as we embark on this cinematic adventure, and let the magic of the Sugarland Express sweep you away once more. Way once more. Way the Sugarland Express, released in 1974, is a gripping crime drama directed by Steven Spielberg, marking his feature film debut. The film is inspired by true events, particularly the 1969 Texas prison break of a young couple, Lou Jean Poplin and Clovis Michael Poplin. The story revolves around Lou Jean's determination to reunite with her son, who has been placed in foster care, and her reckless decision to break her husband out of prison to achieve that goal. The iconic characters of Lou Jean and her husband Clovis are at the heart of this emotionally charged road trip. Spielberg's unique style, even in his early work, shines through in his ability to blend heart-wrenching drama with moments of humor and suspense. The film's cinematography captures the vast landscapes of Texas, adding to the overall sense of adventure and desperation. Spielberg's knack for character development draws the audience into the moral complexities of the couple's actions, making them both sympathetic and flawed figures. The Sugarland Express had a notable impact on popular culture as it marked Spielberg's emergence. As a visionary director, it laid the foundation for his future successes, setting the stage for his legendary career in filmmaking. Additionally, the film's portrayal of a desperate couple on the run has influenced subsequent road trip and crime dramas, showcasing the enduring power of this early Spielberg gem. In the 1974 movie The Sugarland Express, the highway scenes were a quick shoot. Each setup for those scenes took about an hour and a half. To make it happen, the highway patrol had to stop or reroute all traffic within two miles of the location. After each shot, the cars in the film had to travel back to the starting point. While the waiting, and often angry, drivers were allowed to continue on their way. The movie's pace wasn't just on the road. On average, each shot in the film lasted about seven seconds, keeping things moving along briskly. But it wasn't all smooth sailing for the film. Universal executives were initially thrilled with the rough cut of the movie. However, when they previewed it in San Jose, Ka, alongside Paper Moon, things took an unexpected turn. Audiences were on board during the first act, particularly enjoying Goldie Hawn's comedic scenes. But when the story shifted towards more serious tones with sharpshooters in the second half, the audience's mood changed. Some left in tears, while others left angry. The Sugarland Express had its share of ups and downs, from lengthy highway setups to a roller coaster of audience reactions. It's a reminder that the making and reception of a film can be as unpredictable as the road itself. In the 1974 movie The Sugarland Express, there's an interesting scene where the caravan, driven by Lou Jean, passes through a large crowd in Rodrigo. During this scene, a bystander hands Goldie Hawn's character, Lou Jean, a piglet as a gift. Lou Jean then exclaims, he's peeing on me, several times. According to Steven Spielberg, the piglet actually urinated on Goldie Hawn during the filming of this scene. It wasn't scripted, but they kept it in the movie because it added a touch of authenticity to the moment. Another intriguing fact about the film is that although the events in the story unfold over a couple of days, in reality, everything was wrapped up in just a few short hours of filming. Movie magic can make a short time span seem much longer on the screen. 
Additionally, before the Road Runner cartoon plays in the drive-in scene, there's live action footage on the drive-in screen. This footage is from the snake thriller movie SSSSSSS, which was also produced by Richard D. Zanuck and David Brown, the same producers behind the Sugarland Express. These tidbits provide some behind-the-scenes insights into the making of the film and the attention to detail that went into creating memorable moments. It's these little details that can make a movie all the more interesting and enjoyable for its audience. And there you have it, some intriguing facts about the 1974 movie The Sugarland Express. It's always fascinating to learn about the hidden details that go into making a film come to life on the big screen. In the 1974 movie The Sugarland Express, directed by Steven Spielberg, there are several interesting facts that shed light on the film's production and recognition. One notable aspect of the movie is how the Texas landscape played a role in its filming. Due to the flat terrain, Spielberg had to position the camera above the road and use a long lens to capture more than seven or eight cars within a single frame. This innovative technique helped create the visual depth necessary for the film's chase scenes. Another remarkable fact is that as of 2020, The Sugarland Express remains the only film directed by Steven Spielberg to win an award at the Cannes Film Festival. The movie received the prestigious award for Best Screenplay, highlighting the quality of its storytelling and script. Additionally, the opening scenes of the film, featuring a prison pre-release center, were shot at a real center located near Sugarland, Texas. This authentic setting added to the film's realism and gritty atmosphere, reflecting Spielberg's commitment to creating an immersive experience for the audience. In summary, The Sugarland Express stands out not only for its compelling storyline, but also for the creative solutions Spielberg employed in capturing the Texas landscape and the recognition it received at the Cannes Film Festival. These facts offer valuable insights into the film's production and its place in cinematic history. Matic history. Matic history. In 1974, Steven Spielberg directed The Sugarland Express, a film that marked a turning point in his career. Here are some key facts about the movie Authentic Prison Break Location. Steven Spielberg chose to shoot the prison break scene at the Jester State Prison, a pre-release facility in Sugarland, Texas. This decision added a layer of authenticity to the film as it was filmed at the actual location where the event took place. Spielberg's wide release debut, The Sugarland Express is notable as the first theatrical feature film directed by Steven Spielberg to receive a wide release. His earlier film, Firelight, had a limited screening, making this 1974 movie his true debut in the world of mainstream cinema. Local casting for authenticity, many smaller roles in the film were filled by local, non-professional actors. Spielberg's decision to cast locally not only saved on expenses, but also contributed to the movie's authenticity. The non-actors brought a genuine quality to their performances, enhancing the film's overall impact. The Sugarland Express is a film that reflects Spielberg's early talent and innovative filmmaking. With its unique casting choices and the use of real locations, it stands as a significant milestone in the director's career. Director's career. Director's career. In 1974, the movie The Sugarland Express faced a rocky road to its release. Initially, Universal Studios planned to debut it in late fall 1973. However, they decided to delay it to February 1974, avoiding competition with other major films like The Sting. Originally, the studio intended to start with a limited release, gradually expanding to more theaters. But they lost faith in the film and chose a wider release, signaling their attempt to quickly move it through theaters. Despite receiving strong reviews, the film didn't perform as expected, failing to build word-of-mouth momentum. It did turn a small profit, but Universal's hopes for a box office hit, especially with Goldie Hawn in the lead, where it met. The decision to rush the release and the lack of a gradual rollout contributed to its underwhelming performance. Director Steven Spielberg made an interesting choice when he hired John Williams to compose the film's score. Spielberg admired Williams' work on the Reivers and the Cowboys and initially wanted a symphonic score in the style of Aaron Copland. However, Williams convinced him to go for a sparser sound, primarily using solo harmonica and a few strings. This decision added a unique touch to the film's music. Another noteworthy aspect of the Sugarland Express was Spielberg's decision to shoot it in chronological order. This approach helped control production costs and allowed the actors to fully develop their characters 
as the entourage following Lugene and Clovis grew throughout the film. In summary, the Sugarland Express faced challenges in its release strategy and saw Spielberg making distinctive choices in both its music score and shooting style. These elements contributed to the film's intriguing history and character development, making it a notable part of cinematic history. Like history, like history. As we bid adieu to the captivating world of the Sugarland Express, I invite you to pause and contemplate the intricate tapestry of emotions this cinematic masterpiece has woven within you. This 1974 gem, directed by none other than the visionary Steven Spielberg, stands as a timeless testament to the power of storytelling and the enduring allure of the silver screen. As you've journeyed alongside the film's indomitable characters, Lugene and Clovis Poplin, on their heart-pounding escapade, perhaps you've found yourself immersed in their struggle, sharing in their hope and desperation, and even questioning the boundaries of right and wrong. This cinematic journey is a reminder that, beneath its thrilling car chases and suspenseful plot, lies a deeper exploration of human connection, love, and the lengths we go to protect what we hold dear. Now, it's your turn. I encourage you to reflect on your own personal connection with the Sugarland Express. What moments touched your soul? Which characters left an indelible mark on your heart? Do you resonate with the film's themes of love, sacrifice, and the pursuit of a better life? Or perhaps you were drawn to the exceptional performances by Goldie Hawn and William Atherton, who brought these characters to life in such a captivating way. Share your favorite memories and thoughts about this cinematic gem. Let your voice be heard in the chorus of admiration that surrounds this classic. Whether you discuss it with friends, write a heartfelt review, or simply take a moment to savor the memories, your unique perspective adds another layer to the rich tapestry of appreciation for the Sugarland Express. Thank you for joining me on this journey through the world of film and for sharing your passion for cinema. Your time and interest are greatly appreciated. Until we meet again, keep the magic of the movies alive. Warm regards.